You guys good? Yeah. All right. Questions for Jeff Driscoll? Jeff, obviously a tough game out there. You know, it, every time it seemed like you guys were out of it, just managed to hold on a little bit longer, but weren't able to finish it off in the end. Uh, just overall thoughts on the game and the fight for you guys to be able to stay in it that long. Yeah, first of all, I thought uh, West Kentucky played a great game. You know, offensively, uh, Dowdy played awesome. Um, there were some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and you put the ball in the only spot it could be for their guy to make a play, and they did. Um, you know, I thought we competed. Uh, throughout the whole game, you know, we didn't have any guys hanging our heads. We knew we would always be in the game, and um, you know, we we ran it down to the last to the last second there. Um, I didn't think I made enough plays to win. Uh, missed some missed some throws down the field, but um, you know, I think Western Kentucky had a good plan and they executed it well. They go up 21-3 on y'all, and then y'all responded back right before halftime. I guess what were y'all feeling going into the locker room at that point? I mean, we felt calm and collected. We we. We had confidence in our in our offense, and we had confidence that our defense would start to get some stops. Um, came out early early third quarter. Defense got a big stop, and uh, you know we 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 put one up down the field on a post, and the corner made a great play to to get a big turnover there. So that was kind of a momentum shift. But um, you know it was kind of like that all game. We would, we would make some plays, get down the red zone, and then you know not turn it turn it into touchdowns. And I think that's what it came down to. Um, I think there was two times down there that. We didn't walk away with touchdowns when we could have. So, um, you know, work on some red zone offense. Work on, uh, you know, hitting some big plays, which I don't think we did enough. But, uh, you know, I think we competed. And hats off to Western Kentucky. As one of the captains, how do you make sure that, you know, y'all don't dwell too much on how close this game was, knowing that there's still a lot of football left to be played? Yeah, we have we have a 24-hour rule. You know, uh, it's tough. It's tough to to shake one a loss like this off. And uh, you know it'll be on our heads on the flight back. We'll wake up tomorrow, look at the film, and, and move on to our next one. But I think with the group of guys we have and the coaching staff we have, um, it won't be an issue. I think that uh, you know guys obviously are, are competitors and hate losing, but at the same time we know that we still have you know a lot of games to play, and uh, you know our goals are still ahead of us. With you personally only having you know one year or so with the program, kind of taking it as you go each game, first real adversity this season. What do you feel that you learned about your team, again, being one of the captains moving okay. forward? Well, I mean, I learned that we're, we're not going to quit. I mean, there's no quit in those guys. Um, we're football players, and football players compete to the end. And uh, it's, a, it's a close group. I don't think we're going to have any issues with, uh, with the pointing fingers or a blame game or anything like that. It's a, a close, close-knit team that uh, I think will respond really well, and I think we're going to have a great week of preparation. Anything else? All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks Jeff. Here, we'll take it.